if you want to produce non verbal sounds like laughing sadness expressions then this model bark can be of use bark is a transformer model which is based on text to audio modality it is also based on transformer architecture this model has been created by stono bark can generate highly realistic multilingual speech as well as other audio including music background noise and simple sound effects this model can also produce non verbal communication like laughing sighing and crying also sonu has provided access to pre trained model checkpoints ready for inference in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this bark model and play around with it and generate this audio from text so let's get started the first thing we need to do is to install the github repo of bark and i'll be using google colab for this demo you can use any linux instance or even aws sagemaker notebook if you have a windows system then you should um, try to use git bash and then you can play around with it in google colab i'll be using um, the runtime gpu which is t4 provided by google to so go to runtime and then change runtime and then t4 gpu save cool that's done now as a first step let's run pip install git plus this bark dot git let's wait for it to install also make sure that you have torch greater than 2 which is already present here so we should be good once this one is done we are going to download and install our bark model so let's wait for it to finish it shouldn't take too long that's done in the next step as i mentioned earlier let's download and install the bark model let's run this command which is going to preload the models for us let's wait for it to finish and make sure that you have um, more than 15 gig space on your system because that much would be required for the model and all the other files so let's wait for it to finish downloading model is downloaded and ready to be used so in the next line this is the prompt i'm going to use so you can see i am just saying in my prompt in text hello my name is fahad and i'm making this video for educational purposes and then love so this non-verbal sound i am expecting from model and then i'm asking i'm just saying but sometimes some videos don't get the attention the attention they deserve and then i'm just putting out this expression of size let's run it Let's see how long does this take. It took around two minutes and then it is completed. Now let's run it. Hello, my name is Fahad and I am making this video for educational purpose. <laughs> but sometimes some videos don't get the attention they deserve. that's amazing i didn't hear the size expression maybe it was at the end i will um let me try another prompt with it in this one let's go with a voice of a man and a woman let me create another cell and this is from their own github repo so let me play it maybe i'll put in an expression here Maybe here and then Okay, let's run it. Hello, my name is Fahad. I so let me run this cell.
let's wait for it to finish. And you can see that the performance is quite good. It has just taken taken 12 seconds for the first iteration and now it is doing the second one. And which seems pretty quick too. And ETA is just close to now 15 seconds. I will let it run instead of pausing it. So both are 100% and should be ready anytime. That's it. Let me play it. I would like an oat milk rock and cream smell. That's expensive. Mm. Well, what we can do here? <sighs> Let's drink it. Uh That's better. So you can see that the women voice was not really women voice. Maybe an accent was uh, a different one. But the man's voice and expressions were pretty accurate, I would say. I'm just curious, if I rerun it, would it be the same or would it be a different voice with a different accent? Let me play it and let me pause it. The rerun has completed, let me play it. I don't like the oat milk latte. Wow, that's expensive, but what we can do here. Okay, so that was way off this time. You can see that the second one just fizzled out at the end. There was no sigh in it. Just, I think, started hallucinating. Anyway, still a good attempt. Now, let me try out one another prompt. So in this one, I'm sort of doing a persona. And then I'm just telling what I'm going to tell you in that uh, text. And it will let see if it generates this sort of persona in the voice. Let me play it. Let's wait for it to finish. This seems a bit bigger, so that is fine. This one is done. Let me play it. I have a husky, sexy voice. And today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. No, I don't think so. Um... Let me pretend it to be someone else. In this new prompt, I have just asked to pretend to be Al Pacino and then today, I just say today I will tell you about my upcoming movie. Let's see if it is able to do that or not. Should be interesting. Let's play it. I have voice of Al Pacino, and today I will tell you about my upcoming movie. Okay. So yeah, no, no not really. Uh, I wouldn't say that's for Al Pacino. But anyway, um, if you're looking for more examples instead of installing it by yourself, you can go to this link. And they have various examples here, which is quite nice. Let me play a few of them. My friend's bakery burned down last night. <sighs> now... His business is toast. This was good. Let me play this one. Tired of Doom's fooling Twitter? Worried about the inevitable rise of our AI overlords? Try Soma, the miracle drug from Brave New World. Brought to you by beloved megacorp Jackson and Jackson. So this is definitely, you know, gives us the impression that this is an old ad which is awesome i would say and then let me play this last one for the speech synthesis uh, i used to work at a fire hydrant uh factory and you know you couldn't park anywhere near the place let me play this one and i don't think doing text-to-speech is is so hard it's just it, you know mimicking human so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it and you can see how easy it is to generate it and then you can also generate music with it and do a lot of other things and this is evolving and I'm more than sure this will be improving. 
the best thing about it is that it is quite lightweight and doesn't require you to have a very beefy system as i'm running it on um, free google colab you can run it on any uh, simple gpu if you have it on your laptop too so if you have any questions or if you face any errors please feel free to ask them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much